Magical here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a series in which I go over various dungeons in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! How they work, what to use them in, and how much climb you will extort, like, I mean, ask for. Once again, I'm going to cover an engine yet to be released in the TCG, so without further ado, let's get hit by Truck Kun so we can get reincarnated into a different world as a trading card game token. The Brave Token series was first introduced as a part of the Grand Creator deck building pack released in the land of Triple Max C in August 2021 and is scheduled to be released in the land of No Max C in January 2022. The end pretty much instantly became a hit upon its release in the OCG land. At one point, one third of all the decks in the OCG meta were using that engine. Nowadays, it's even more! It just shows how powerful and flexible it is. There are five cards that make up the whole engine. There are of course more cards in the Brave Token series, but those aren't that frequently used. So let's see what those five cards do and what actually the engine does. Aquamancer is the heart and soul of the engine. With her ability to search Rite of Aramesia, which we will get into shortly, she gives the engine a great deal of consistency. Additionally, she can summon herself Cyber Dragon style if a Brave Token is already on the field, giving you an additional extender. This normal spell is your primary Brave Token generator. Easily searchable via Aquamancer and provides additional part of the engine set directly to the field. What more are you to want from this? Journey of Destiny is a very interesting continuous spell. It protects a monster with an equipped spell from destruction by battle, it searches out a monster from the Brave Token series, and it can equip a card to a Brave Token when a monster is normal or special summoned. It just does everything! This card is basically the payout for the use of this engine. A searchable Omni Negate that can summon itself with a quick effect while a Brave Token is on the field. It shuffles itself back into the deck as a part of the effect, but with the help of Journey of Destiny, it can be easily searched out again, providing a negation every single turn. Another payout for playing the Brave Token Engine, not at the same level as the Griffin Rider though, but still providing a non-destruction bounce removal is a very neat effect. Unfortunately, it's not a quick one. It didn't happen in a while, it's been like... seven episodes? Wow. That's the longest time since I had any solid data regarding a build of an engine and then I have to go out of my own hunch. It's actually kind of refreshing in a way, you know? Okay, now back to the matter at hand. Since the engine's build has already been crystallized, at least in the OCG, it looks something like this. The engine can be additionally facilitated by using cards that can either search Aquamancer or send her to the graveyard, something like Foolish Burial or Cherubini. The biggest payout for using the engine, as mentioned previously, is the reoccurring Omni Negate. Additionally, it can be established as the fifth summon or even earlier, providing a protection from Nibiru. The other payout this engine can provide, as mentioned previously again, is the bounce removal of a card, so it's not restricted to monsters only. It can even bounce spells and traps. It's also extremely easy to use this engine since there are at least 6 cards that can start the engine going, with more available in accordance to the player's decision. When it comes to the downside of this engine, the size is a rather big one. This engine contains 9 cards, so it's at least one fourth of your main deck. It's not the biggest engine covered in the series, but it's up there. However, the greatest issue this engine has is that effects of normal summoned monsters cannot be used during the turn. Since the fact that activate and resolve upon normal summon are one of the most impactful, mostly in the consistency department, this might make some players think twice about using the Brave engine. In the OCG, this engine has been used in a variety of decks. In the most recent meta, it has found its place in BK variants, Sword Soul, or Dragon Lake. That just shows that it's very flexible and can be used in literally anything that doesn't rely on its normal summon. Now it's time to go back. Your mission has been completed. However, if you want to stay, all you need to do is comment, like, and subscribe. With that, I will see you in the next one. Jekyll is hanging out. Peace!